Hello everyone, welcome back to Mr. Brown Tech, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review on this Ben Ross Industrial 300 Watt Fan Heater. And as you can see, this is what it looks like on the box, and as you can see, it does have quite a nice design, and it also has adjustable angles, so you can point it upwards or downwards. So if you look here, you can see that it's easy to assemble, it has two different heat settings, and also, one thing I like about it, has a cool air setting, so if you wanted to, you can also still use this as a northern air fan, and also as a recarry handle as well on the top, if you wanted to put it somewhere else. And as you can see, on the side we have the features, so it's easy to assemble, portable with insulated carry handle, so you don't burn yourself or anything, and it's also more comfortable to carry with. It has a stainless steel heating element, so it would last, and it's more durable, and has adjustable thermostat control, so you can control what heat settings, or to the perfect temperature, and as you can see here, has a fan setting of 40 watts. Then you also have two heat settings, so either 15,000 watts, or 1500 watts, or 3000 watts. And it has dual overheat protection, so it doesn't damage the fan or catch up fire or anything. And it has a full metal casting, so it's more durable than like a northern a generic plastic heat fan heater. And there's a specifications like voltage rated power. Cable length which is 1.5 meters and also has a waterproof class of IPX4. And if we spin the box around, you can see there's a side of it with another picture of it. <coughs> and this box is quite nice as well. And there's the top. So now we're going to open it up. So first, going to cut the tape. If I can get it just like that. Now when I open it there's another piece of tape which I just can cut, up, cut open like that. And there's some stay from here. And as you can see there's the fan in there. No, there's the stand in there. As you can see there it is. So if I can Pull it out, or I can just slide it out kind of like this. So it's some stay for me can fully. <coughs> and then there's some accessories in here. If I move this stay for me the way. Here we have the so we have some pieces to assemble it with. So now once I clear all of this stuff out. Moving begin video. So after clearing all the stuff out, here's the fan itself, and here's the yellow stand. It's has some bits of stuff for me just can flick off. So here it is. And now the fan would usually would be sitting like this with an operation. So here's the cable. And here's the fan itself. So if I have a look around, you can see here. Yeah, tight it so they've cut it open like this. There we go. So now I can remove the fan from its packaging. And there's the handle. So there it is. And then I can just leave it sitting there. We'll move this out the way. And then here. We have the operating instructions. So now with the instructions of the bag, here it is. It's pretty similar to the box on the front cover. So you can see here, it tells you how to use it. And on. there's the assembly part. So as you can see, here's, here's the assembly. So as you can see here, it says remove rubber grommets to a few the appliance support eyelets, which I'm guessing are these here and then here it says assemble the pivot fixing fixing spring washer first then flat washer do not fit the rubber washer 
Nå no, så so tager the pivot fixing fixings place the wobble wall så so kan conferring the attachment point on the plant then into the boat and also for the bracket support a lid and tighten and it says do not over tighten so you don't strip the threads in as we diagram of the control panel on top as you can see is trouble sitting and sort of cleaning and maintenance you can pause to read through this as well so there you go so now if we look at the heater itself, here's the main cable here to plug it into, which I just can undo this plastic piece here, just like that. And there's the plug itself with the protective thing on it, if I can take it off. Just like that. And as you can see, the cables are quite thick, which you'd expect for industrial type fan heater. So, the demonstration of that. And you can see it's fed into here. And as you can see, you can't, if there's a no cover sign, so you can't cover it or else it do heat. And as you can see here, you have. And this is also single speed. So as you can see here, you have your regular fan setting. Then you have the low heat setting. Then here's your high heat setting. And if you look in there, you can see the heating element. And the fan, which is towards the back. Which is also made of metal. Then here's where you can adjust your heat control through. And if you listen carefully. Can hear we relay in this room. So there you go. So now I'll be back once I have the stand assembled. So here it is now with the stand assembled. And it does look very nice with it. And as you can see it does have some adjustability as well. So you can either point it facing forward to have it pointing upwards. So now we're going to do a demonstration of it. So now if I plugged into your extension cord, we can try it for the first time. So going to put on the regular fan setting. So as you can see there's some putting quite a lot of air and it is quite nice and cool. Spin down times quite nice as well. So now let's turn it on to low heat setting. So now it might take a wee bit to warm up. And I already can feel a little bit of heat coming out of it. Definitely eating up the so If I put it on, on the max heat setting, now it's fuel it. In there. Then you can definitely feel quite a bit of heat. Now. And it is doing quite a nice job of warming up. And there's the back of it. And it definitely is swimming up now. So now if I turn it off. So there it is. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing with a few of this Ben Ross Industrial 300 Watt Fan Heater. So like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Bye.